Fierce Starlets and welcome back to another video. If you're new here today then hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today on this video. If you've been here for a while and you're enjoying the videos and you haven't subscribed already please do. It really helps the channel out and don't forget to turn on that bell notification button. In today's video this is a recommended announcement from Maricela. She commented on one of my previous videos, leaving a lovely comment. Here it is. So she suggested that I do ease my nails, which is amazing because I absolutely love Emperor's New Groove. If you haven't seen the film, go check it out. It's really funny. I used to watch it when I was really small and I loved it, still love it now. So when she said it, I was like, yes. And even, you know, quoted the film in my comment too. So with all that said, Maricela, this one is for you, girl. Thank you for your comment of kind words and also suggestions for future videos. Let's get started with these Yzma nails. So starting off, I've painted all the nails in this light purple. It looks pink, but it is purple. And now I'm going in with Chameleon Purple to Bronze with Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. Don't forget you can get 10% off if you use the code NOVA10 at the end of your checkout. The link is in the description. So I'm just going in and um, not whacking it all on. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and just get some of the big ones and small ones and just dot them around the nail as this is just going to be a light background for two of the nails. So we're only going to do two of the five nails with the glitter from Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. And once I was happy with all of them and placed them down, I'm going in with this light purple and just adding those in a couple of the gaps just to add a little bit more purple again back into the nail. I think that Emperor's New Groove is very purple and gold vibes, especially Yzma. So once I was happy with all of that, I went ahead and matte top coated it. It will go back to shiny, don't worry. Um, everything looks so much nicer shiny anyway. <laughs> and with the remaining three, I'm going in with Nail Vision Cat's Eye Gel in this pinky um, gold one and using the magnet tool, obviously, for Cat's Eye Gel, you need a magnet. So I'm doing quite a few coats of this because I wanted it to really stand out. And then getting the magnetic tool and just pushing all of those around. Then I cure it for 60 seconds, then do another coat and do the exact same areas again with the magnet just to get it to pop a little bit more. And that is those complete and we're ready to start. So I've already sketched out Yzma's head and now we could just get on and do all the fun bits of the detailing and the colouring in. So I'm going in again with this kind of ashy, um, ashy grey lilac colour as that's kind of what her skin tone is. <laughs> so I'm just filling in the area. And then once I was happy with that, I cured that for just 30 seconds. And now we could start going in doing the detailing. So I'm going in now with Black Magic from the Zoe's Gel Polish Collection. I'm kind of addicted to this black now. It's, <laughs> it's very sensible. It stays where it's supposed to stay. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos, older videos, you would know that sometimes the black can spread other ways or not even just the black, just any colour. 
if you don't put a matte top coat down or anything like that, or you're not quick enough to get it in the lamp, sometimes your gel polish can creep off to other places or um, expand out or do all these crazy little things. Sometimes with some gel polishes, you have to work quite quickly, get it in the lamp before it moves anywhere. But with the black magic, it just stays put. So I'm happy with that. Now going in with a darker purple and adding in her eyeshadow and also under her eyes. And now putting in some more wrinkles onto this woman's face. <laughs> She has a really crazy smile. <laughs> if you've seen Emperor's New Groove, who is your favourite character and why? I've got to say my favourite character is Pacha because he's so sweet, but I do like Kronk <laughs> because I can relate. <laughs> to how his mind works. <laughs> okay, and now here we're doing her earrings and then I go ahead and fill in the rest of her body, which is pretty simple. It's just black uh, cloak and yeah, pretty simple once you've got the face done. And there she is, all done and scary beyond reason. And now we're going on, and this is a duplicate nail. We are doing the magic potion, um, the one that Kronk messed up. Um, he gave Cusco um, llama extract instead of the death potion. So we are doing that. We're on one nail. It will be uh, where the label was folded over appearing to be the death potion and then on the other duplicated nail it will be the label fully stuck up and showing that it is indeed llama extract and there are two other nails that you won't see um, me do because they were also duplicated nails and they were pretty uh, basic but it was just um, her um, what do you call it her shoulder um, cape thing spreading over onto the next two nails so you'll see that in a second just doing the last touches now and then this set will be complete and there is the duplicated nail and the two shoulder ones that I said about and that is the end of the video if you did enjoy these Yzma inspired nails please do leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below if you've got any ideas for future videos with all that said, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification button if you are enjoying the videos and I'll see you on the next one. Happy creating. Bye.